us uh, 40 euros. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. The townspeople are very happy to see that we've begun selling the beer again. It's a sign of hope for them. And also, it's a sign to them that things will return and things will rebuild. It will take time, but slowly everything everything will be fixed and it might even be better than it was before. Okay, four, 16 euros or 15? Uh, just Are you sure? Yes. Beer sales are going very well. We've been open for a couple weeks. We only open once a week on Saturdays for a couple hours. We have two kinds of beer. We have the blonde, which is 6% alcohol. It's a bit lighter, has some spicy, fruity notes. And we have the extra, the dark beer, which is 10% alcohol, a little bit of licorice, dark fruits, cherry. They're both very nice, very drinkable beers, great in the summer or the winter. Um, how many months? Three months. We have, we've been living outside of town since the earthquake, up on the mountain, you could say. And there we've had a lot of uh, difficulties, trials. We didn't have water for a few weeks because our pipes were frozen. Um, we've had wolves come onto our property, foxes, wolves, you know, uh, encounters with wildlife and also just the hardships of the cold, having to do outside construction work while the ground is frozen. These are the kinds of things we've had to deal with this winter. Uh, I Love Nursia is a special beer that uh, was in the fermenters for about eight months uh, between, the, between the time of the first earthquake and the time we could finally bottle. It, it, uh, it, it managed to be um, taken care of, coddled you might even say, in these fermenters for all of this time and so all of the flavors blended together in a way that none of our beers have before. Normally, especially our dark beer gets better with age and this one even more. Monks think in, in long uh, term. Uh, we, we plan for centuries, not for decades, and our hope is to rebuild everything in town uh, and uh, to build up here on the mountainside a full, uh, a full abbey, an abbey that will last for centuries. The property in town is owned by the diocese, so that decision is up to them. But here we can welcome uh, men and women, pilgrims, to share a little bit of our life uh, in a quiet, uh, reserved setting that hopefully brings them closer to God.